Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for The Worthy, and I came across this on YouTube just when I was browsing through stuff, and it was free on YouTube. And at first I didn't know what it was named until I looked up some of the characters and then found out that way. Um, I'm not going to exactly link this movie, not because I don't like it, it isn't that. But I believe that this movie was, it probably isn't free anymore. It was like one of those that only lasts like a month and then they rotate it out. So there won't be a link to it, but maybe if you look you can find it for free on YouTube. I'm not exactly sure. Um, this movie um, didn't really have anyone in it that I really recognized in terms of um, actors. But that is not exactly detrimental. In fact, um, there have been lots of really great movies that didn't exactly have an all-star cast, but were still amazing. This movie basically centers around... There was a disaster that happened, and now it's like post-apocalyptic. It isn't exactly zombies and stuff like that, but... Um, there was contaminated water, and then people drank the water and died, and then it was stuff like that. And... Um, reading the comments under the movie, it um, seems to be a bit of a, based on a, based on real life events to a certain extent, um, if I can go that far, it takes place in the Middle East, the Arabian countries, and um, it's about the different factions there. Um, really, really a fascinating movie, considering I didn't really know much about what was happening there. Um, it centers around um, the hero. What was his name? Anyways. And all the different trials that they went, that everybody went through. Um, there's a lot of plot twists that are really, really fascinating. Um, but yeah, this movie I felt was really, really cool. Um, it kept me interested, um, and, um, it was really, really well paced. Um, basically, there's a lot of betrayal in the movie, which is, um, par for the course, I guess. Um, and a lot of it came out of nowhere. I mean, there weren't any hints or anything that something bad was going to happen, and then all of a sudden, boom, it happens. So it kind of keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps the tension and the thriller aspect pretty strong. Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say this was a war film, and I don't think that um, it is really. Um, Eric... There's all kinds of um, little nuances and stuff like that. Wow. I see that it says here from the something of Insidious and The Conjuring, which are horror movies. And this movie was rather scary, basically because of um, how cruel people can be and how out of nowhere betrayal can happen. Um, really, really fascinating. Um, basically there is a faction of people who, um, are looking for leaders, not followers. So basically anyone that obeyed somebody else basically got killed. Which was, um, kind of an interesting concept actually. Um, but anyways, this movie is really, really, this movie is actually from, uh, 2016, I believe. In my research, I've found that out. I don't really know much about this movie, um, just that um, I watched it free on YouTube. Um, so um, again, it, it won't be linked, but uh, maybe you can find it. Um, I do like movies like this. It has a nice feel, um, a nice pacing, an immersive environment, and um, it's actually something that could possibly happen, which um, kind of adds to the um, thriller aspect of it. But yeah, this is a movie that I would highly recommend. Um, 
it is um I don't exactly remember if yeah, I'm pretty sure that um it was subbed and also dubbed, I believe. Except sometimes the dubbing didn't match up. No, I mean uh, that the dubbing didn't match up with the subbing sometimes. Um, but yeah. So the neat thing was, I believe you wouldn't have to read the, the subtitles in order to know what was going on because it was in some semblance of English, which I like. Um, I know that with the Detective D movies, um, those were completely subbed everything else was like in Chinese or Japanese or something so you had to do a lot of reading and those I really find distracting um, so I prefer things that are dubbed kind of like this but anyways this had a really interesting plot and um, this is a movie that I would highly recommend um, anyways um, and maybe if you're lucky it'll still be free on YouTube Again, I'm not going to link it because I'm not so sure that... Well, when I actually watched this, it was last month, and I know YouTube switches up their free movies every so often, so I'm not going to bother um, linking it. But, with all that being said, I find that this movie is worth a watch, even if you have to like pay to stream it or um, pay to rent it, because um, even though this movie is from... Well, let's see, this is 2022 currently six years ago um, even though this movie was from six years ago it still I think holds up today and uh, it was really cool I really enjoyed this movie it kept me on on the edge of my seat and I enjoyed it so yeah but that's just my opinion and you kind of take my opinion or leave it either way is fine and if you like this content make sure you like and subscribe like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know I upload also if you want to support me in any way if you want to join the discord server all the information will be in the description below and as always thanks for watching everyone you are loved and have a great day